they also realize the moment you disqualify 39, then it's all it redounds to their disadvantage. So they were trying to dis disqualify the 16 so that you know you give a threat to the other 23 that look you you will also suffer the same fate. All right. They also knew that they were likely to lose the plot, but we are now on the governor's powers. You're not so much on you know the the mathematics and okay now at the end of it it obviously it's it's very obvious that you know they had lost the lost the numbers game but equally you know what is a very serious concern is that governor should not enter into this any any area by which their action will in fact precipitate the fall of a government so that Otherwise, is where I would very earnestly and respectfully Miller, differ constitutionally stand, and I'll answer stand that. away and say that look. Can I, before your Lord Shri uh, concludes on this point, would your Lord Shri allow me to narrate, Malod, place the law on the point? Because law, as I have understood, Malod, subject to your Lord Shri's final uh, uh, approval, may not Malod, support this conclusion. Malod, if there is a dissatisfaction, the governor's responsibility is to ensure that the stable government is there and government functions in a stable way. If Somebody goes and says that there is a party dissatisfaction inter se may not be a ground for the governor, my lord, possibly to call for a trust vote. Suppose there is a political party. My lord, if you're MLAs, MLAs of a political party feel that our leader is not true to our ideology, that our leader is not carrying out the, the basic ideological premise of our party. Take it. Forget Uddhav Thakre, forget uh, Shiv Sena for a moment. They have their remedies. They can always say that we will we'll vote our leader out. We want, I, we believe that, you know, our leader does not, uh, was, does not pursue the ethos of our party. They can always vote the leader out in a party forum. But can the governor say that because there is a dissension about a certain aspect of the leadership, therefore I'll ask the, uh, I'll ask them to now prove that it's a government which has been formed. It is a government which has established its majority on the floor of the house. It's a government which is a functioning government. And you know, these kind of, and we are now not at the inception where you have to ask for a trust vote. It's but, not, I'm not saying that there is an absence of power in the governor. There is, of course, the, uh, there's a power in the governor even after a government is formed because a variety of things may happen which will lead the governor to say, no, prove your trust on the floor of the house. But what is really the problem here is that governors in exercising that power may actually precipitate the fall of the government. And, and that is something which is very, that is very, very uh, serious for our democracy. May I answer, no. Lord? Okay, I'm, I'm running against time, but your losses yes. would accommodate me, my Lord, obviously. If, okay, I'm on the first point right now. Let's say, well, one. And this is irrespective of their numbers. There is no doubt about it that they lost the numbers at that point of time. But Lord, I am answering as a proposition of law. Lord, kindly allow me to at least answer Lord, this. I have understood Lord, your Lordship's uh, concern on the constitutional proposition which is canvassed Lord, by a party which has otherwise Lord, lost the majority support as the figure suggests. And all this hyperbole that you know you will have 40 corpses and all the Maharashtra, it's not some, uh, it's a... It's a very highly cultured, developed state. I mean, things are said in politics. Sometimes things are said which are inappropriate. They should never be said. Please As we said just the other day, Mr. Uh, please Mehta, Malod, uh, that we, you know, we said to Dr. Singhvi in a matter where he was appearing that there has to be some level of constitutional discourse and dialogue, which is Malod. unfortunately going down Malod. in our country. So we are not condoning it. We are not at all condoning please it. Please don't. Con this amounts to condoning. No, 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 my no, concern no. Is. no, we are not condoning it. In Malod, fact, we are in both, we have expressed the can serious, I, can I, most serious concern about where the, it's like, I, in fact, in one of our orders, just Narsama and I say it's like a race to the bottom. But that is different. I mean, you know, uh, we are not condoning it at all. We, we are deeply concerned with it as a constitutional court. But fully, we have to also say that what about the governors? They have to, they must exercise these powers with the greatest circumspection and caution. Would your lordships consider deferring this view till my lord my... Okay. We will see the judgments of course. Yes, Lord. Uh, lord, kindly allow me to answer at the outset. I will show the judgments. Lord, whenever the governor's prime responsibility is that a stable government continues, number one. Kindly allow me to complete. Number two, the democratically elected leader should not only enjoy the confidence of the house when the government is formed, 
he should continue to enjoy the confidence of the house throughout the tenure and they said that's going to be my another limb of submission when i i examine lot the governor's power uh, in facts of the case is concerned otherwise there would not be any accountability on the leader so far as his constituent electorate is concerned he can say that now i am elected to help with you i will not concern i am not concerned the monsoon allow me session. allow me to mr solicitor the monsoon Lord. session was coming this was all happening in the third week of june the last week Lord, of june can i complete the monsoon session of the state legislative assembly was going to take place when you will play supplementary demands that's the surest test if they have to seek the vote of the house on passing legislation on uh, supplementary demands one aspect of a revenue measure and if the government does not get a vote they are out well, i will show the judgment i well, will the judgment bill of the monsoon session which was going to take place well, i i will have to well, read some judgments also well, and therefore i would earnestly request your lordships to defer this no, tentative yes, conclusion this is, not, this is not a conclusion at all this is a concern which we are An expecting. another another thing we may eventually accept your submission and we will equally put your argument to mr no, no, i understand i am i am i am fully conscious why i am confident in our quality what is happening is but my my is worry is difficult my worry is different ultimately whoever fails whoever succeeds is a separate issue but no, no, my worry is different is my worry is different and i'll put it first for well, thereafter i'll answer that question at the outset and elaborate but what was said was not just an inappropriate statement which the governor could have ignored it was a threat that you 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 will be brought dead and sent to post mortem that the house is being please don't yeah, condone it not even in advertent don't to the he wrote to mr lima he was the additional chief secretary he provide security this he that is duty by providing that that please provide protective by not just your duty but permit me malar to Anyway, I'm but bringing down government because of some some member of the legislative assembly saying that you know we will uh, you know that's, that's sorry, my lord, that's too simplistic a way to look at it. Lord, please look at it holistically. Thirty-four persons, thirty-four MLAs goes that we have lost confidence. They might be disqualified. They may not be disqualified. Whatever is the consequence, forget it for the time being. Along with two plus seven other MLAs that. The, this man is not enjoying majority support. Kindly, my lord, uh, allow me to complete, my lord, before your lordship, my lord, expresses the concern. They are not saying that we don't like him or we don't like the, uh, uh, lord, uh, A, B, C, D reasons, and therefore he has not, uh, uh, he has lost our confidence. Now, my lord, all these allegations, all these threats are being administered, and the governor is supposed to be not a mute spectator because. the threats are administered not as a law and order situation the threats are administered and governor is informed that with a view to create an artificial majority now not only threats are administered on public platforms but really attacks are taking place lord would i expect the governor to sit as a mute spectator and say that you wait till your monsoon session this is your internal dispute you sort it out internally the minimum thing malot the governor the supreme court has said is that the governor is not only entitled he is duty bound to hold a to to direct that if this is the situation you hold a full floor test if that malot according to their perception might aggravate the situation for the chief minister malot again that consequence is not for the governor to keep in mind if in a democratically elected body like the member like a legislative assembly if i am elected as a leader i should not only inspire confidence at the outset i should continue to have that confidence throughout my tenure otherwise it results into complete lack of accountability and answerability which is a facet of democracy and it would result complete in in, in complete tyranny that now i am elected you can do nothing to me well that is not what is conceived of the governor's function because governor comes into picture only in rare situations like this that for whatever reasons you have lost your confidence if 34 people have come maybe because of my floor test 34 may become 40 i am taking the extreme example as your lordships have very rightly uh, expressed the concern that it might aggravate the situation but that's how the democracy works that's how my lord leadership works and th therefore my lord they say 
that you can inherit leadership. You cannot inherit leadership qualities. And that is where the leadership quality comes into play in a democracy. The concern, Mr. Mr. Mehta, is that what happens is people start ditching your government. And, you know, you ditch your government and then for a variety of reasons, the governments and the governors are willing allies by saying hold a trust vote. So you give sanctity to this act. I am not government. entering into the area whether they should have or they should not have. It's very That's for them to answer. It's, this is a very uh, sad spectacle, you know, in our democracy that, you know, you allow... Lord, I, I don't... Uh, as a governor, I can't answer that question. But otherwise, my Lord, if you're lordship... This is irrespective of the morality of the Shiv Sena having joined with the INC and the... Uh, so that was also, my Lord, the majority feels was a sad spectacle. My Lord, ultimately, all these resolutions say that having gone before the electorate... And my Lord, I, I would like to read, my Lord, kindly allow me, my Lord. Some, Lord, I am, yes. uh, kindly allow me. Uh, in, in Quixote, your Lordship very carefully said that when you go before the electorate, you are not going as an individual. You are going as a representative of a particular ideology. You are doing two things. A, I, I am representing a particular ideology, vote for me. He represents another ideology, don't vote for me. Now, the situation before your lordships and before the governor was that majority of me who went with a particular ideology, particular coalition, particular my lord, uh, joint uh, my lord, program, sit with him against whom we contested the election and majority say that this is a spectacle we would not like to be a part of. I am not concerned as a governor. I am not concerned as a governor. So, yes. that's my lord. And but they, they broke bread for three with for three years, no? Exactly. They well, broke bread with the International debate. Congress and uh, and, no, 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 no. and the uh, NCP for three years. No, no, no. What happened overnight after three years of you know a happy marriage?